Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to watch F1 live. Before we start, hurry up and check out the latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do you watch F1 live here? So we all know that watching F1 is really important, especially if you're a fan here. So in this case, we all know that watching F1 does actually come with a price. So just searching online here. So if we do a quick search here, when you search for, or this case, uh, websites that actually gives you live broadcasting of F1, they have their own prices, but the price itself actually depends on your current region. Now, like for example, in my case, uh, currently F1 uh, streams around, like for example, the TV access here is around $4.49 a month. But if you want to get the deal for four, one year, this is around $34.99 a year. Now, in this case, if you want to watch the F1 live here, you need to have a subscription with them. So that includes creating an account and buying the actual subscription. But in this case, what if you don't want to basically buy the actual subscription? So the thing here is uh, there are actually different uh, TVs or uh, channels out there that actually provides you free streaming of F1. But the thing here is it is only it, it is actually only available on certain regions. So an example for that is actually the service tv.com here, which gives you free access on their TV. But the only downside here is their content is only available in Austria. So meaning if your IP address or you're not from Austria, then you won't be able to view or watch F1 for free. Now, the thing here is whenever you watch uh, something on service TV here, it's just going to say this video is currently unavailable or this content is not available to you. So in this case, you won't be able to watch anything here. So in this case, how do we actually work around this one? So the thing here is, again, like what I said before, you need to be in Austria or have an IP address from Austria themselves or connect to a, a server from Austria to basically access their content. So in order for you to do that, you need to make use of VPNs. Now, there are going to be some VPNs here that you could actually use for free. So just an example here, I'm using this VPN here, but the thing here is it's actually locked. So you, I won't be able to actually access all of the locations that I have right now. So just to give you an idea, I'm going to go into type in Austria here. And as you can see, Austria is locked because again, I need to have the premium plan in order for me to get it. So this is actually from VPN. So currently their plans is around 2.49 a month for 24 months, which in this case, I need to have a subscription for me to access those VPNs. Now, another example of VPN here is Surfshark, which in this case, the Surfshark Shark one here, which includes a seven day free trial is around $4.09 a month or $1 a month. And you can get like three, three extra months here. But yeah, so another, another VPN that you can use here is going to be the private internet access, which is in this case around 2.79 Australian dollars a month. So basically, if you want to watch a uh, free uh, content or uh, live stream or watch live stream for F1 live, you need to obviously connect to uh, a region or a, a channel here. Like for example, this is an example, uh, this service tv.com here, which includes you being in Austria in order for you to access their content. But again, like what I said, uh, what, like what I mentioned before, you could use any VPN here if you want, but then again, you need to buy the actual uh, plan here in order for you to actually access the servers for Austria. So in this case, you might want to weigh in what's more beneficial for you. So if you want to uh, basically just buy the actual one for F1 here, if you're a Yu fan, you can just buy the actual TV plan here, which is a lot cheaper here if you're going to uh, ask me. But if you want to buy uh, VPN, uh, that's your choice. But yeah, another thing that you need to consider here is you need to consider that service TV actually banned a lot of IP addresses on their server. So meaning, just because you've used one VPN here, you'll have access immediately on their website. Sometimes your IP address will not be able to access the actual website. So if that's the case, it means that you've or they've actually just blocked your access or a specific access because a lot of people are actually accessing Service TV here using VPN. So that's why they constantly uh, are basically blocking a lot of people on their website. 
So that's another thing they need to take in consideration here. So yeah, then again, you could either choose buying the actual Formula One uh, subscription or just buying a VPN here and try using other channels or platforms out there and basically live stream them from those free websites. But yeah, in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.